Welcome to this week's lesson segment on Weekly Outdoor Plus, brought to you by Barbershop, 2400 Church Street, Stevens Point, where they have the most wide variety of vacuums, sewing machines, and parts you can need, and great service to go along with it. So get your notebooks and pencils out, because it's time for your lesson segment with myself, Jace Hintz, and Weekly Outdoor Plus. Hey guys, Jace Hintz here, just uh, giving you guys your weekly tip. I'm uh, going to have a nice short, sweet one here for you. It's just going to be how to store your bow when you're not shooting after, you know, either when you're out hunting or if you don't shoot a lot year round or anything. Big key is keeping your bow, your bow stored in a correct place so that you can keep your string life a lot longer. You know, you can save your string up to like three, four years simply by storing it correctly in the right temperatures and not leaving it in your car. Um, so what you gotta do basically is every time you go out hunting, rain or shine, you gotta go take your bow wherever you're staying, whether you're at home, hotel, um, hunt and shack, whatever you gotta do, you gotta take your bow inside with you, all right? Don't leave it outside in your truck, don't leave it out in your car, because the difference in heat from getting hot to cold, cold to hot, for a long period of time, really kills your string. There's a lot of moisture in your string, and every single time you make it freeze and then heat it up, or heat it up really, really hot, like in the middle of summer, um, it's not good, all right? You're gonna make it, it's gonna start fraying a lot more on you. Um, if you notice that your, stray is, or your string is starting to fray, don't be afraid to throw some wax on it. That's one big thing that'll really help you out. Um, save the quality of your string for you know another year or so. But don't over wax it because that again, you're gonna have like old wax in there and it's gonna end up drying up and cracking anyways. So um, big thing, and no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, especially if it gets rained on, take it into wherever you're staying. Let it, you know, if you stay inside, why shouldn't your bowl? You know, you spend a lot of money on these things. They're not worth wasting. So uh, make sure you take it inside with you. Um, if it's raining, make sure you have a napkin, towel, whatever. Wipe the entire thing down, all right? Especially like your little screws and bolts and everything. That's what's really gonna rust. That's what's really gonna make it look bad. And again, you're not gonna be able to, you know, you're gonna have male functions just because of something very simple like that, that I mean, anybody can fix. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so just make sure, yeah, don't leave it in your car. Keep it in a nice even room temperature, you know, somewhere around 70 degrees is real nice. Normal house temperature. Um, nice dry place, not very muggy or anything. And uh, yeah, treat it like it's yours, you know, treat it like your favorite toy, you know, <laughs> it's what it, that's what it kind of is, you know. So make sure, keep it good, and uh, save your string life, you know, you'll save it anywhere from two to four years just by simply keeping it up to date. I had mine for the last four years and never had to wax it one time just because every single time I'm done, I take it inside, make sure I take care of it. All right, so little tech tip of the week, don't forget to do that, all right, no matter where you are right now, if it's in your car, go get it, don't let that happen, all right. So uh, again, I'd like to thank Norm over at Barbershop, uh, Church Street, Stevens Point. Go to him for any vacuum issues you have or any questions. He's more than happy to help you out. All right, thank you. Have a good week.